Good morning, my rogue readers. My name is Erin Rogoff, and welcome back to my booktube channel, where today I will be discussing several unpopular book opinions. So thank you, Casey Onzo, for starting the unpopular book opinions tag, because I am hopping on the booktube bandwagon and doing this video like you did before. I have a list of notes here that I would like to talk about, so let's get started. First question. What is a popular book or series that you don't like? I could have answered this question back in 2010, but not now. Because back in 2010, I refused to read anything popular, and I stuck to reading the unknowns. So now I read just about anything, so there's very little that I don't like right now. Question two. What is a book series you liked that other people don't like? I would have to say the Gone series by Michael Grant. Some people say it's a boring X-Men meets Lord of the Flies, but underrated as it is, I totally love it. I haven't read the sequel series, which is the Monster Trilogy, but I plan to do so soon. Another series that I like that other people don't seem to like is the Quarantine series by Lex Thomas. Some rank it as really dark, but that's what I love about it. It is drawing you in, and you just, you feel like you have to read the book because it's so dark and you wonder how dark it's going to become and then you're just drawn in even more. So I don't know if I'm making a whole lot of sense here, but it's very addictive. And then the third series that I absolutely love but other people don't like is the Beautiful Creatures series by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. It's a supernatural romance that should have gotten way more love than the Twilight Saga, and I happen to agree with that. However, I will say sorry, Stephanie Meyer, that I didn't love Twilight as much as the Beautiful Creatures series. Question 3. What is a love triangle you don't agree with? Give a warning for spoilers. Well, here's a warning for spoilers. In the Quarantine series by Lex Thomas, there's a love triangle between David, Will, and Lucy. David and Will are brothers, so it gives an awkward vibe because some readers believe that Will and Lucy hooked up first, and then David and Lucy did, so it's sort of detracting, if that makes any sense at all. Is there any hardcore evidence that Will and Lucy did hook up? Not really, but that doesn't make it any less weird. Question four. What is the popular book genre that you don't gravitate towards? I would have to say historical fiction. I love history and I love romance, but I don't always read books combining the two. I will still read the Outlander series by Diana Gabaldon, but if there is another book calling my name, I'll set Outlander aside. No offense to Diana Gabaldon or Sasha Alsberg, who is pretty much the world's number one Jamie Fraser fan. Question 5. Who is a popular author that you are really not interested in? This one's a little confusing because I will read just about anything right now. I would probably have to say that I haven't read the Bridgerton books by Julia Quinn yet, so I can probably say that I'm not really interested in that sort of series. Another question. What is one book-based cliche you don't like? In The Hunger Games, I hated how Katniss pretended to be in love with Peeta, then realized she was actually in love with him, but didn't admit her feelings until later on. So I sort of hate that slow burn book cliche where it comes to romance. Or the cliche where the girl pretends to like the boy, the boy is already in love with the girl, and then the girl realizes that she loves the boy, but then the boy's feelings for her change. If that makes any sense, congratulations, because I am confusing myself here. But that's just one cliche that I really don't like in most books. And then the final question, what popular book or series are you not interested in at all? So back in 2010, I went through this hardcore phase of not reading any popular books and sticking to only the books that no one else has ever heard of. I didn't read The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins until 2019, but I was all over Incarceron by Katherine Fisher and Sun and Moon, Ice and Snow by Jessica Day George. Now in 2021, I will read just about anything. 
Anyway, that is all for today's quick video, so if you enjoyed, hit that like button to show some support, subscribe to my booktube channel to get more videos like this, turn those notifications on to be notified when I have a brand new video uploaded, keep on reading, and have a great day everyone!